and welcome to Virtual Storytime with the Cumberland County Public Library. My name's Samantha and I'm a librarian at the Bordeaux branch of our library. Today we're going to be doing unicorn themed story time. First we're going to start with a flannel story about a horse who dreams of becoming a unicorn. Next we're going to move on to a stem craft that brings us into the story and helps us make a rainbow bridge for the unicorn to get across. Finally, we'll talk about how you can access some books at home using our Libby app or Overdrive and learn some more about unicorns. And you can do that at cumberland.lib.nc.us. Welcome to our story time. All right, so the story we're starting off with is an original story we've written just for you for this virtual story time. And it's about a horse named Charlie who wants to become a unicorn. Charlie the horse was a horse, of course, but he felt he was awfully plain. He dreamed of being a unicorn with a beautiful horn, tail, and mane. So he went to the bog to meet Mr. Frog, who knew how to fulfill Charlie's wishes. He said, bring me a pie of the tastiest flies and I'll show you where Rainbow Bridge is. Rainbow Bridge, of course, said the horse. I'll gallop across the skies to find the wizard who will grant my wish just as soon as I gather these flies. Pie in hand and feeling quite grand, Charlie returned to the bog. He handed it over to get his makeover and carefully watched Mr. Frog. All of a sudden, there came a great mist that spread out across the bog. With a wave of his hand, there appeared a new land. Rainbow Bridge spread out across the bog. Charlie the horse was grateful, of course, and he trotted to meet the wish granter. As he neared up to his place, he saw a wise face and he sped up his pace to a canter. As Charlie grew near, the wizard was clear. And across his face spread a smile. Charlie the horse, of course, of course. I've been waiting for you for a while. Tell me your wish, and with a quick swish of my wand, your wish will be true. Your journey's come to an end. Now tell me, my friend, what can this wizard do for you? Well, I'm Charlie the horse. I'm a horse, of course, but I feel that I'm awfully plain. I dream of being a unicorn with a beautiful horn, tail, and mane. If you insist with a flick of my wrist, I give you a golden horn. You're well on your way. By the end of the day, you'll be a real unicorn. Now for step two in transforming you, I give you a colorful tail. Look at those colors. They'll never get duller and your new look will never be stale. Now the final task in granting your ask is to give you a beautiful mane. With locks so pristine, you'll steal every scene and you'll never feel quite plain again. Oh, thank you, dear wizard, Charlie said as he shivered, filled with excitement and glee. I'm a real unicorn with a mane, tail, and horn. I can finally feel like me. Now there's one detail we mustn't forget. In fact, it's the most important part. It's not mane, nor tail, nor horn that makes unicorn. It's all in their unicorn heart. And that's the end. Thank you guys for listening. Hi. And in our story, Charlie the horse had to cross Rainbow Bridge to find the wizard. So today we're going to do a STEM craft that helps Charlie get to the magical land where he found his wish granter. To do this, we're going to do a craft that requires only one piece of paper, some coloring utensils, uh, coins, and uh, staples, or just two paper clips. So to start, we're going to have to make our paper rainbow. And to do that, we're going to use the acronym Roy G. Biv. So these letters stand for the different colors in the rainbow. So we have red for R, 
O for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, I for indigo, which is sort of a dark blue purple, and V for violet. So the first step is gonna be coloring your paper to look like a rainbow. Then we're going to build our bridge. Now, when we build a bridge, we can start with just our paper flat, and that'll sit across our two baskets. And you can use books, baskets, chairs, whatever you have that's level across each other in your home. So when we lay this across and we put this distance just a little bit less than the distance of the paper, we can see that we have a bridge. But this bridge won't hold a lot of weight. We're gonna use coins to demonstrate, but you can use whatever you have in your house. If you have buttons, beads, coins, anything will work. So when I put this coin on this paper, the paper falls through. So how can we make our bridge more structurally sound for Charlie to get across? We're gonna try by manipulating and changing the way the paper is folded. So first, I tried by folding the edges of my paper up. So now my bridge has two sides. And we sit and we can take our coins and now they hold. Another way you can try is to fold your paper into a cylinder, just roll it up, and then use your paper clips or your staples to hold it in place. And now, if we slide those coins in, we can hold even more coins to help Charlie get across. So what I want you guys to do is to take your paper and try all the different ways that you can make a rainbow bridge, as many different experiments as you like. Then I want you guys to tell us what you tried in our comments so that we can see how you got Charlie to meet the wizard. So we've had a lot of fun with unicorns today, but the unicorn fun doesn't have to end here. You can go online to cumberland.lib.mc.us to get even more unicorn books from Overdrive and our Libby app. One of the books that you'll find there is called Unicorn Day. This book is by Diana Murray with pictures by Luke Flowers. And in this book, we actually have a unicorn that decides he wants to be a, we actually have a horse, excuse me, who decides he wants to go to a unicorn party, just like Charlie. So there's this book available there, as well as many others on our Libya. So if you're looking for a chapter book, you can read Wonderlight, Unicorns of the Mist by R.R. Russell. In this book, a young girl goes to an island for troubled girls and finds a mystery while she's there, she hears something in the woods and goes to find it and finds a baby unicorn. What happens next, you'll have to read to find out. You can also watch films on Libby and, uh, and Overdrive, including The Last Unicorn, the 80s classic that your parents may remember, starring Jeff Bridges, Angela Lansbury, and Mia Farrow. And if you like those books, you can find even more unicorn stories just by typing unicorns into the search bar and reading even more on Libby and Overdrive at cumberland.lib.nc.us.